I would like to remind you that this call is being recorded and it will be posted in the Beachbody Champions page later. It's Keyshawn Graves and welcome to the Southeast Region Pep Talk. I hope you all are really benefiting from today. Uh, we would like to end the Southeast portion with a quick chat from your support team, Craig Collier, Robbie Carter, and myself. So without further ado, I'd like to pass it over to the Diamond and One Star Diamond Master Planner, Mr. Robbie Carter. Keyshawn, thank you so much for that introduction. I'm super pumped, guys, and super excited to, uh, to be here with you guys and honored, obviously, to be with you guys, um, amazing coaches. Um, today, I'm going to be talking a little bit about uh, when the headwinds come, guys, during Team Cup. It can kind of be kind of frustrating. So all of us have been a part of a team. Um, Uh, as you go ahead Keyshawn sorry you were frozen I apologize sorry oh, sorry all of us have been a part of a team or right now are currently a part of a team that maybe one or two individuals or even your whole team isn't as committed in team cup as you are and that can be super super frustrating right so I wanted to relate that to uh you know this to running in a marathon guys um and when, with wind you know when we when we hit this wind, or when pro marathon runners, when they hit this wind, guys, they, uh, they use strategies to get through this. And the first strategy that they use, guys, is drafting. And I gotta kind of explain what drafting is. Drafting means um, to stick together or being with other runners for a long period in this run. And research has shown, guys, that when you draft together, it can eliminate up to 80% wind resistance. And a lot of these pro runners feel that it absolutely helps them with, uh, with saving energy. And Craig can testify to this because he's a biker and he knows what it is, what, it like, what it's like to draft off of other athletes. And so, so my question to you guys to kind of get you guys involved is how can we draft off of each other in, with our teams to, to be successful in Team Cup and to avoid the wins that come. I just wanted to ask a few of you guys and get you guys involved. Um, the first one I want to ask is Wendy. Wendy, how do you feel like we can draft together as a team or your Team Cup team to, to avoid the wins that come? Wendy, can you hear me, Wendy Martin? Maybe she can't hear me. How, let's jump over to... To Caroline Nathan, can you hear me? You can't hear me? I'm going to unmute you, Caroline. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm at work. Oh, oh no, no, no problem. All right, let's jump to Elizabeth. Elizabeth, what are some things that you feel like you can do to, to be successful? to be successful in Team Cup and avoid the wins that come with Team Cup. Can you avoid, uh, uh, unmute Elizabeth, Keyshawn? Okay, all right, Elizabeth, you are unmuted, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> all right, it, that's okay, it's okay, guys. Let, let's, go, let's jump to Aunt, Aunt Amy. Amy, I know that you were super psyched. I see your <laughs> happy smile. You know, I always have something to say. So <laughs> I was just going to say um, sticking together. And I just listened to um, that other call, um, um, the last call, about just like having, being accountable to each other. And, you know, when things come up, like you get um, objections and you're not knowing you the new coaches you see on your Team Cup team. And you're not or what to say and things like there to go to your it, seat yeah. like it just needs and to put be your a big thing together um and i just feel like working as a team which you want a team for a team cup it just makes things so much better and the more you succeed and you share that you lift each other up and help each other through things it's just going to be better so awesome. okay you. Amy, wow. no, I love that. Thank you so much. That, that is a, another great way that we can do to avoid the wins by sticking together. Thank you so much. Uh, another thing that I kind of wanted to throw in there and share, guys, is doing live power hours. 
doing live power hour guys are is a great way um, to is a perfect way to put you know the power back into the hour guys it's you know it's a way for us to draft off of each other's you know energy it's it's like what Amy just said it's instant accountability it's instant help and push it's instant support guys and live power hours like it's like what we're doing right here you know you get your team on here we do assignment one together assignment two assignment three and it's a way for us to draft together and push each other and work hard and get through the wins that come with Team Cup because it can be very difficult and a hard time. And when you have that support and that, that accountability right then and there, it's a great way to, to push and, and to keep us going. A second tactic that a lot of marathon runners do to, um, to make sure that they're you know, continuing is that many of them will turn their heads to the side like this when they're running. To, to avoid or to prevent the disruption of their breathing so that they get valuable oxygen to their bodies and so they don't bonk early, you know, or, or fall apart during the race. And I wanted to relate the turning of the head thing to us and our beach body businesses is a way for us to turn our heads or, you know, or turn our heads away from personal or team uh, negativity, guys. Negativity is, will crush your team cup your team and everything with it. So make sure, because really guys, we have no time for negativity, guys. Stay positive, work hard, because we need that, that valuable oxygen and that spirit so that we don't bonk early in our race or our race and team cup. So stay positive with it, with all of that. And guys, seriously, Craig, Keyshawn, and I, we believe in you guys. We're super excited for you guys. Be forward thinking, be thoughtful, put the time into you know finding the right people, and know that obviously when those wind comes, stick together, do those live power hours, and we know that you guys will be successful. So I want to turn that time back over to Keyshawn. Thank you guys so much for letting me, you know, get in here and share some thoughts with you guys. Thank you, Robbie. That is great. I'm actually, I was a runner, if you guys don't know that about me. And uh, what he mentioned is absolutely accurate. We use those wins as a part of our strategy, whether it be drafting off of other people on our team, or whether it be leaning into the win in order to allow it to carry us through the finish line. So I'm going to piggyback just a little bit. I, I want to talk a little bit about leaning in, and I'd like to talk a little bit about this negativity that Robbie mentioned. So I want you all to dream big and know that you will have haters and we all do. And if you're doing things right or you're doing things different and not getting caught up in just dreaming, you should. So don't be fearful about being yourself on social media because we're not selling anything. We're not selling something useless. We're sharing a life changing solution. We're sharing the solution for the dad to be able to walk his beautiful daughter down the aisle. We're sharing the solution for the grandmother to be able to stop taking the pictures and to get in the pictures with her family. That's the holistic solution that we're sharing. So know you and be confident in the work that you're doing and that it's coming from a great place and keep pushing and know that you're not gonna be everyone's cup of tea. Oftentimes, when we start something, I, our, our haters, oftentimes the ones who are closest to us, I think they mock us. Maybe it's because we started several things and we've quit several times. We have to show them that we're in this forever and that we will continue to be positive and post about what we're doing in our life. Um, and we will continue to share this amazing opportunity because if not, we would be a disservice to our friends and family who need to know about the opportunity. And if they don't want to see this amazing person you're becoming, then they're more than welcome to unfriend you. And I need for everyone on this call to be okay with that and here's a stat for you to write down a stat from our top coaches they say that 90% of their Beachbody team are people they met after becoming a Beachbody coach so they're not even people that they knew before coming Beachbody so post and post often no matter how boring you think your life is uh, turn your mess into that message and share and then share some more uh, get a, a catchy cover photo have a nice profile picture do those things that maybe you were once fearful of um, that discomfort will bring you that much closer to your goal. Um, but let me tell you why I think we have our haters. I think we have haters because we've been programmed and conditioned to believe this vicious cycle that we graduate from high school, we go to college, we get a job, we start a family, we retire, right? It's this vicious cycle. It's kind of like, and I'll be really quick, I, I only have 10 minutes. Uh, it's kind of like the elephant who was attached to the, to the plastic patio chair by the thin rope. There were no chains, there were no cages. It was just a very thin rope and it was very obvious that this 
elephant could get loose. And so there's a gentleman walking by and he asked the trainer, why aren't the elephants trying to escape? And the trainer tells him, well, when they were younger, we used the same size rope. And at that age, it actually helped them. And as they grow up, they're conditioned to believe that they can't break away. They believe the rope will hold them, and so they never even try to break free. Champions, what we have right now, this opportunity that's at our fingertips, that's right in front of us, is the opportunity for us to break those chains and, and the opportunity for us to dream big and to dream free. So let's break those generational curses. Let's let our friends and our family know that they too can break those generational curses because we have that power. We have the power within our families to break them, within this country and within this world to break them, right? We don't have to be in that reality of that vicious cycle. We hear coaches every Monday talk about how much Beachbody has changed their life. We've heard from a slew of coaches today who have proven that it doesn't have to be our reality, that vicious circle, that vicious cycle. And so it doesn't matter if you're four days new or four years new. That's the beauty of this forever business. It starts now. Today is a perfect day for you to come back out of hiding and for you to turn up the intensity and for you to lean into that win and to use that win in order to carry you through that finish line. It's go time. It's okay to break away from that cycle, guys. And those people who say you dream too big, they dream too small and they probably stay in those dreams while we're in the actions. If you only live once, why not give this baby all you got? Why not you? Why not lean into that win and lean hard into that win and give this baby all you got? We have 15 days left of what will be the biggest month in Teen Beach Body history. February will be the biggest month where we touch and potentially change more lives than we've ever ever changed and touched before. And that's crazy to think of. This company with all of our success towards accomplishing our goal to end the trend, with all of our success towards helping people live healthy and fulfilling lives, with all of that in this month will be the biggest and the best ever. And you all have the opportunity to be a part of it. I want you all to be a part of it. We can't achieve it without you. We're in this together. So are you leaving it all out in the field? Are you leaning in? Are you really leaning in to that win? Kick it in, kick it hard. Let's run through the line. Why not you? I'm going to pass this over to Craig Collier, our fearless leader, who once again knows a few things about leaning into those strong wins. <laughs> hey, Keyshawn. Thank you very much, Robbie. Thank you uh, for your words as well. I'm going to draft off of these two. They kind of they kind of set the way they they were going in, and so now I just get to kind of jog behind them. Keyshawn just set the pace up. She just took it up a few notches, though. You know, when you're drafting in a pace line and cycling, like it's one thing. Like the person that's leading the pack, they are setting the pace for the team. And there's times when that leader that's setting the pace, like you can't keep up with him and you're having to pedal, even though you're behind him and you're benefiting from the draft, you're not getting the same wind resistance as they are. It's hard to catch up with them. And Keyshawn, you may have just set a pace that I can't keep up with, but I'm going to, I'm going to give it my all. I'm going to try to get into your uh, slipstream, if you will, and just draft right in behind you and run with you here. So thank you very much for those inspiring words. And you guys, thank you for letting me spend a few moments uh, on, this, uh, on this pep talk. Uh, we are super excited as Beachbody sales team for, as Keyshawn mentioned, the biggest month in Beachbody history. We're excited uh, that we're in a, in a new year with new goals, with new programs, with just amazing things that are going on. And excited that it's a team cup month. And I'm honored that so many people would jump on this call today uh, to get some tips, to get some, uh, some information that will help you to be effective uh, in organizing, planning, and executing in uh, your team cup. And so just a few thoughts for you. I, uh, again, I, 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 I want to focus a little bit more on some of the tactical side, some of the things that you have to do, uh, whether you are a team leader or a team captain, I should say or whether you're just a member of the team that wants to make a difference on your team, uh, there's some things that you can do to be effective. And um, what I first want to kind of kind of talk about or define for you here, we were talking the other day as a sales team about, about principles. And it was interesting to have that discussion because I never realized that there were so many connotations or so many definitions, if you will, to the word principle. And I just want you to think about this uh, for a moment. I mean, 
one of the one of the definitions of principles is right. So you can say, oh, it's a person of good moral principles, right? They they um, you know have a, a an accepted rule of action or or conduct, um, right? You can say that uh, someone though, there's principles of Christianity, which are fundamental doctrines or tenets of a, of a, spe of a specific uh, form or way of thinking, and, and principle could mean that as well. But where we got into a real interesting definition of, of this word is when we talked about a principle as a fundamental or general law of truth from which others are derived, right? Like the principles of modern physics or the principle of uh, in the law of gravity, there is predictability. When, when A happens, then B is a response, right? And so these are the types of things that we need to begin to identify as beach body coaches, all right? And as a beach body coach, it means that if you are earning a paycheck from beach body, which hopefully all of you are, it means that you are the CEO of a business. And what CEOs are always in search of are principles that apply to their business, no matter what the scope of that business is. They are looking for principles where they can say, if I apply A, then I will know that I can get B as a result, right? As you do that, you know that you begin to be able to control uh, what those things are that you exert influence over and you can predict the consequences or the outcomes of those efforts. All right. Now these in business, these aren't always 100% predictable and that's okay. Your beach body business is not always going to be 100% predictable in terms of, uh, Hey, if I, you know, put this post out there, you don't know that you're going to get X number of prospects or X number of coach enrollments, that's okay. But what you can begin to know with certainty is when you exert certain activities, you know that it will result in certain behaviors. You also know that when you don't do certain activities that you won't expect the results that, that would come from that, okay? And so I want you to uh, really begin to form a, a mindset as the CEO and look for what things in your beach body business that you can begin to exert control over, which will yield predictable results and have those become and, and form the principles uh, of your business, all right? Now, one thing that I love about business, and it's even more applicable right now in terms of Team Cup, uh, is that, that there's a lot of correlation with sports. And I, and I, I love the team atmosphere um, that, that Cup brings because I, I've always been involved in athletics and team sports. And I love that we can, again, we can lean into each other and depend on each other and help each other uh, towards a common goal. Well, you as a team captain or as even a member of the team that are looking to make a, 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 an impact on that team. There are some things that you can do within your team that will help you to be successful, some principles that you can apply which will yield predictable results, all right? And there's three things that I always talk about that the coach of a team, whether it's in football or basketball, baseball, whatever it is, the coach of that team, all right, is charged with doing a few things that will help the business move forward. And so, what I would like you to do is to think of yourself, whether this is in the, your business over the team that you are, uh, your, your Beachbody team, or whether it's your team cup team, how to apply these things into your business, all right? First of all, as the CEO of your business or the team captain of your team cup team, you need to have a game plan, all right? You need to have a set of expectations of what you want to achieve during the month, and your team needs to understand what those are, right? If you uh, fail to put a game plan together, or if you aim at nothing, right, there's a good chance you'll hit it every time, right? If you aim at nothing, you'll hit it every time. And so my question to you is, does your team know what that game plan is? Do they know what the expectations are, what you're driving at? what success looks like for the team, all right? Again, and you can apply this, whether it's your organization and below as a Beachbody coach or whether this is specifically for your Team Cup team, what are you guys shooting for? Have those expectations been defined? And if they haven't, that needs to occur really quickly. And the great thing is, is maybe you set out with a game plan on the 1st of February 
and hey, now a couple of quarters have gone by, right? A couple of weeks have come by. It's almost like halftime. Like, in fact, this is why we did this on the 16th, right, Keyshawn? It's kind of like halftime of the game. And so at halftime, you're making halftime adjustments. Guess what? You may have to adjust your game plan, but you still need to, to communicate to your team what that game plan is and what things need to take place, what the expectations are, all right? So look at your team, talk to your team. How many points are we gonna generate? Who is responsible for doing this part? Who is responsible for doing that part? Who is going to provide the communication for our team? Who is going to uh, give us updates? Uh, who is gonna take care of recognition? How many points can I expect from you? How many points can I expect from you? How many points can I expect from you? In what categories? Who's gonna rank advance? Who's gonna produce? success club points all of this needs to go into understanding the expectations of your team and now's a perfect time to calibrate that and get it ready for the next uh, for the next half of the month all right in order to have uh, the outcomes that you're expecting from your team cup and remember the great thing about team cup is not only are there some fun team prizes and some awards and things that you can get for playing the game but at the end of the day, this is gonna solidify and strengthen your beach body business. And that's the bottom line. So all, all of these things can have a long-term effect on your business, all right? So, so point number one, uh, you must establish and define what your game plan is. And if that game plan needs to be readjusted now that we're halfway through the month, make the proper readjustments, set those expectations with the team members and get ready to roll uh, for the second half of the month, okay? Number two, after you, Per, uh, establish what that game plan is, you need to execute the plays, all right? There's tactics that need to be taken in order for you to generate points for your team. What are those tactics? What do they look like? Uh, how, you know, you can't, a, a coach can't just go out there on the field and say, okay, run, you know, go, like, score points. There has to be plays. There has to be tactics and things that need to be executed in order for it to happen. And that's where you guys can really help each other out through accountability, through follow-up, through recognition, through a daily check-in, through commenting every time you make an invitation, commenting every time um, you know somebody uh, you know sends out a message, or every time someone generates a success club point, that there's accountability there, that there's some sort of tactic or actions. And you don't have to produce a lot but maybe define together as, as a team five or six things that you are going to do either on a daily or weekly basis that helps you execute the plays, that helps you be good at the tactics which will produce the results from the game plan, all right? And then as much as possible, point number three that, that, that I need you to work on in order to have the most impact in Team Cup as possible, the most impact uh, on your team as a CEO as possible is to then systemize these things, all right? Take your tactics and define when are these going to happen? How can we make these really simple to do? Um, assign people certain tasks. Uh, assign different days. Hey, on Mondays, we're going to do this. On Tuesdays, we're going to check in with that. On Wednesdays, we're going to do this. Every Friday is going to be recognition day. Every Monday is going to be review the game plan day. Create a system so that the team knows what to expect and it becomes more effective and efficient for you as the team captain or for you as the, again, the, the leader of your team uh, to be able to execute the plays. All right. So game plan, execute the plays and systemize the way that you're going to do things so that uh, there's just great efficiencies in what you're doing, there's predictability in what you're doing, and I guarantee you guys, if you will apply these principles into your business, uh, you can expect a result that will be positive for you and will help grow your business, all right? There's uh, a saying in, in this industry that, that act effective activity equals income. All right. If you are looking to increase the income of your business, if you're looking for Team Cup to help give you that little boost to help you, you know, fulfill those goals, no matter what you're looking for that little extra income for uh, to pay bills, to do some travel, to help your kids get into soccer lessons or piano lessons, whatever that why is for you, effective activity will increase uh, your income. That, that's just a principle uh, that is true in business. All right, you guys? And it will take some discipline. It will take planning. It will take effort uh, to get there. But I know you're up for it. I love that you're in teams. I love that you can uh, lean into each other. You can depend on each other. You can hold each other accountable. You can cheer each other on. And uh, you can uh, take on those headwinds 
when they come as a team. You can draft off of each other. You can shield each other from the wind. You can speed up when the leader speeds up. If someone needs to catch up, you can maybe go back and get them and bring them up with the pack. You guys, it's a great uh, thing that, that we have going here. So grateful to have you part of Beachbody. We appreciate what you do. We appreciate the belief that you put into your coaching business, that you put into the mission of Beachbody. And uh, we know that you are out there making a difference. Thank you so much. Keyshawn, that's it for me. Uh, appreciate the time to spend with you guys. Awesome. Thanks, champs. Let's go out there. Let's rock hard these last 15 days of the cup month. All right. Talk to you soon.